and we're back, guys. Tennis in a minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. I give you the rundown on tennis coverage every day. Indian Wells, round number two. Yes, another great week of predictions right around where we want to be, that 80 percentile range. And look, the goal is to win, win, win. The goal is not to lose. So uh, that's what I want you guys to do. I want you guys to win all free picks. Like the video, hit the super thanks, show some love. At least Merton's taking on Wong. Wong, she's going to I think she's going to have the athletic edge here. I think she's going to have the strength advantage here as well. Her backing down the line, I think, is going to put at least in some tough positions. Uh, I think this is the type of match that will go three. I think if you want to look at a total, it's probably the match to look at an over because I think both ladies, Wong, she doesn't really have that game plan and that serve to put opponents away. You know, she can win, she can get, she can win a service game, get broken, break back. Uh, so I think this match goes over 19 and a half. And I think Elise Murrins wins the first set. Uh, I think we're going to see Elise play her best tennis in the first set, and I think it goes over 19 and a half, two picks for that match. But uh, Wong might be able to steal that match, guys. I think Wong has a good chance to win that match outright. So if you like Wong, you might want to look at that. Ocean Dadin, bonjour, contele vous. I saw her yesterday. Look, she looks good. She's happy, enjoying the festivities, taking on Dash Aquina. Dash's use, Ocean's got a good, strong, powerful serve, followed up with the right forehand. But Dash is used to playing the best in the world. She's used to playing the Sabalinkas, the Rabakinas. She's from the Federation. She's tough mentally, physically, good footwork, gets balls back, good between the lines. You know, if there's a checklist for things that Dasha does well, you're going to check off most, except maybe serve. If she has a bad serving game and Ocean puts up 15 aces, Ocean can still a set and win the match. But I think Dasha... Just being more tenured experience, having, and I say this all the time, when you win a match you should have lost, you normally lose the next match. This is how it goes. You shouldn't be here. Ocean was down 5-2 in that third set to, against uh, Evanesian. She was down 5-2. Ocean would come back and win the next five out of the six service games, but she didn't play well. I think Dasha wins this match. Sharana Kirstea taking on Sloane Stevens. I saw Sharana practicing. Uh, the Indian Wells is beautiful, guys. The tickets prices are ridiculous but um you do get free parking if that's you know if you like free parking save a little bit of money that's just the only tournament where you get free parking so i mean it's the least they can do with a 30 dollar pizza slice of pizza but serana kirstea um she she's gonna push the pace with her back and she's gonna make sloan stevens play and i think sloan uh i think sloan will win at least a set in this match so we'll take Sloan to win a set. I think the first set goes over eight and a half. But I think Sloan can win the match. But she's going to have to play solid, disciplined tennis. So we'll take the first set, excuse me, over eight and a half. And we'll take Sloan to win at least a set. And uh, I think Sloan can beat Serrano outright. Having a sip of some uh, cold juice here. Good morning, guys. Two of my fastest players on tour. The matchmakers had to make this one happen for me. They had to. Two former top-ranked juniors. Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Clara Pew, wow! The French woman taking on Corey Coco Golf, the future of tennis. Listen, Coco shut it down yesterday at practice. Shut it down. Shut it down. Everyone loves Coco. Coco, shut it down. That's right, guys. People standing to get in. The line just extending, wrapping around. Coco looks amazing. She's the future of tennis. But this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be a good match because I've said this in the past. These are your two fastest players on tour, and we got Jasmine Polini right in the mix. Layla Fernandez in the mix. Iga has good footwork. But she's not faster than these players. Like, for example, we're talking about exploding vertically towards the net. These players, they'll smoke Iga. A foot race, they'll smoke Iga. These players are way too fast. Iga has good footwork. She closes out well. Now, good footwork and being fast, they can go hand in hand. But good footwork, a lot of that is anticipation. You know, being able to close out and meet the ball, a lot of that is your hand-eye coordination 
It's uh, good anticipation, good instinct. Um, and that, does, that doesn't necessarily um, translate to speed, right? Raw speed, these are your fastest players on tour right here. And Buell is one of the best shot makers on tour. She's underrated. She really has to think and game plan. She knows coming into this match that she has to, she has to play a strategic match against Coco. And Buell has the shot variety to do that. Buell is a really good shot maker. So if I were coaching Buell, I would say, look, we need to, on our return, on our first or second return, we need to get the ball here. We need. I'm not going to say that here. I'm not going to tell you how to beat Coco. But if I were coaching Buell, I would say on your second, first or second return, the ball needs to go here. You need to place it there. Put Coco in a tough position to return. And Buell has the variety to be able to do that. Now, if Coco's going to win this match, she has to speed Buell up and blast her off the court. She cannot play rally-dally with Buell. She's got to go in for the kill right away. Buell struggles against stronger opponents. Coco's much stronger. She's much faster. She's got to put Buell away. Short rally winners, deep backhands. Bruel struggles with power. I've been saying this time and time again. She's tiny and Coco's bulked up. She's a lot bigger than Bruel. But Bruel, good. She just beat Wong, who's good. Now, Wong did get injured. I'm not sure if you watched that match, but Wong got injured towards the end of the first set. Uh, second set was horrible. She came out early, broke in the third set, but again, her knee, she, Wong is too injured. She couldn't move, but we're going to take Coco to win this match, but I do think Burrell is dangerous in this match, but Coco wins. That's a pick. Tennis in a minute. Like the video. We'll be back, guys.